So I'll be telling you what to add in your cream. Mix these two together, add it in your cream, and succeed in anything you put your hand. Whatever thing you desire will come your way after this. So you are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. I share spiritual tips and messages on this channel. I don't do spiritual work for anyone. So anywhere you see my image or someone claiming to be Pamela or Pamas TV, to bring money for any spiritual purpose, know that the person is a scammer. May God bless you. So you doing those things yourself, backing it up with Bible verses, you see things working for you. Rose will be opening for you. No matter what you need in life, know that God is able to supply all your needs and do more. If only you believe, you see things working perfectly. Consider subscribing, like this video, and also share this video. Let's go. I have so many videos on this channel. Just go through them, and by the grace of God, with your faith, you see things turning around for you, just like a magic. So here is cinnamon. I don't want to waste time. Like, this is cinnamon powder. Cinnamon powder is also in the Bible. I've come across some comments, though not much. Once in a while, I've come across, I've come across some comments. People saying that, that cinnamon powder is diabolic. Please, I want, I'm going to be leaving the Bible verse. Where is stated in the Bible? Where God mentioned it in the Bible? It's not that Moses said or, or John said, or so, so so person in the Bible said no God Almighty said it mentioned cinnamon in the Bible the Word of God remains forever okay it changes not so you have to know that God has given you all things use them wisely with wisdom always seek for wisdom there's nothing that you will never seek for and you will not get so this is olive oil. I'm going to also tell you how to make use of olive oil. Olive oil is also mentioned so many times in the Bible. Like, I'm not saying that you should rely even if all these are written in the Bible or stated in the Bible. You must have faith for them to manifest. You must have faith for it to work. So it's not everything that God created that you can use for your spiritual purpose. Some of them are used as a medicine, while some of them are used as a, for a spiritual purpose, a spiritual benefit, while some are used as food. Check Exodus 30, chapter 30, verse 22, from 22, read to 29. He says, I'm going to be reading it out from the Bible to show you where it's written, okay? So, from 22 says, Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, is the Lord that spoke to Moses. 23 says, Also, take for yourself quality spices, 500 shekels of liquid mint, half as much sweet smelling cinnamon, 250 shekels, 250 shekels of sweet smelling cane, 500 shekels of cassia, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And a hand of olive oil. 25 says, And you shall make from this a holy anointing oil, an anointment compounded according to the art of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. 26 says, With it you shall anoint the tabernacle of, of meeting and the of meeting and the ark of the testimony. Continue reading. I'm just going I'm just trying to show you where it's stated you can use this to to make an anointing oil so in some video like in previous videos some time ago I've discussed how to anoint like bless ordinary oil and make it anointed olive oil is stated it just I just stated like I just read it on this verse okay where you can turn olive oil to anointed oil olive oil is from divine tree like it's divine it, it brings blessings it brings open door if only you invite the power of god in it with your faith you see it working in different areas of your life spiritually anything you need use it with faith you see it working so this is the oil we're going to use to mix with cinnamon just a little a little of cinnamon goes a long way. Cinnamon is sweet smelling. Cinnamon is amazing. I love the smell so much. 
you can check out other videos of mine where i stated like i've made a video concerning cinnamon in so many times you can also search on youtube if you cannot go through my videos because they are much go to youtube search Palmas tv cinnamon i've discussed so many ways you can make use of cinnamon powder okay and this is the verse exodus 30 go through them go through it and every word by word we guide you on how to make use of this powder and the oil this will not work without your faith remember so all you have to do from the one you have already if you have olive oil already you don't need to add cinnamon in it directly all you have to do is to bring out maybe half of it store it in another container into cinnamon powder maybe half tablespoon mix it into that oil then shake it very well open it after mixing the cinnamon powder open it then start praying tell god almighty to have mercy upon you that you're a sinner that should cleanse away your iniquities any power stopping your progress that god should pass through this and remove it first after telling god to have mercy upon you invite the power of god with faith tell god almighty that you want the power of god to flow into this anointing oil the power of God should flow into it. Believe that God Almighty will allow the power to flow into it. And so shall it be. After that, you have to shake it and turn it. Like mix it very well. Continue mixing until everything is well mixed. After that, you continue praying to God to make this to be a way of solving any problems of yours. That whatever thing you desire in life, that through this oil, it shall be solved. You want money, you want protection, you want healing, you want anything. That as you also make use of it to bless somebody, to give somebody, it shall be a blessing as well. Not only for you, except you want to personalize it to yourself alone. You know, in that way, you have to mention only your name. But when you are using it for general purpose, for anybody, you have to allow it. Do not mention anybody's name. After this, you have to mix it. As you're mixing it again, once again, be thanking God for everything. This is with faith. Whenever you want to make use of this, make sure you are pure. I always advise that. Always make sure that you don't rely on this. Prayer is everything. Continue praying. You have to pray without ceasing. You have to continue praying always. Do not say, oh, I have something that will do all things. No. You have to continue forming that relationship with God Almighty because it's the power of God that is in that is in here you cannot say the power of god is in here already so everything is no you need to continue forming that relationship make god happy and god will make you happy as well you know that relationship need to be there so that there will be total protection upon you it's just like when god has blessed you you, you now you now withdraw yourself from it that blessing will be gone you know god will take it away or you will allow the enemies to take charge when the presence of god is no more in your life what will come in is evil powers demonic powers from devil so you have to continue refueling refueling it refueling it and continue using it and you see your story must change genesis chapter 1 verse 29 i'm going to open it as well to read it for you you know it says behold i have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruits you shall have them as food every plant god has given you every plant either to use it as medicine to use it as food or to solve your spiritual problems when solving some spiritual problems, you don't rely on it alone. You need to invite the power of God. Of course, it's the one that gave it to you. You need to invite the power of God so that the power will flow into it and make it work for spiritual. Spiritual is not easy. When it comes to using it for healing and as food, you can just decide to just bring it and use without inviting any power. But when it comes to spiritual aspect, you need the power. You need the power in it to work. To make it work power that is above any other power when it comes to diabolic side okay people invite evil power in whatsoever thing they are using but when it comes to anything from god you need to invite the power of god to take charge and you see it's working 
except you don't believe in God Almighty, except you are doubting that the power from the Most High is very small. But as long as you believe in God Almighty, that power is the greatest. And whenever you are making use of this, make sure your faith is there. You see every word by word taking charge in your life. The word of God remains the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. It changes not. So, anytime you want to make use of this, either for healing, for breakthrough, for anything, seek the face of God first. Tell God to have mercy upon you. Tell God Almighty to take charge that God should bless your way, that God should protect you. Apply it on your body. You can decide to apply it only on your head. You can apply it only on your feet. So that anywhere you go, things will turn around for you. So you can give this to somebody. Applying on the body will help greatly. Make sure you ask God to have mercy upon you. Make sure your hands are clean before you touch only things like this. And God will grant you any of your needs. Like anything you desire will be so easy after this. May God bless you. So go on and try it, okay? With faith, things will turn around for you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this video. This is another video, the one I shared before, is full of so many benefits, like spiritual benefits, that will turn things around for you. Okay, also check out other videos of mine. Make sure you subscribe, share this video, and like this video. I'll see you in my next video.